I didn't even need to introduce her, do I? Give <laughs> up about the drag queen! I don't know why you all gagging. Purse first, purse first. Walk to the room, purse first. Purse first, purse first. Walk to the room, purse first. Ow, purse first, purse first. Let's use the purse first. Oh, purse first. Purse first, purse first. Purse first, purse first. Purse first, purse first. Sisters to be in my film, 
and only two of them showed up. It was Layla McQueen and, 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 and uh, well, actually Manila showed up. She wasn't even on my season. She was like on the season back when it was like on YouTube. And uh, and then uh, of course Derek Barry. She's an all star. She she is an all star. She she was the one. Who, it was just the one that got a limited like second episode with oh this is All Stars One. You missed this one. All Stars One? Well I don't wanna it was like two it was like three years ago. I don't wanna ruin this for you too, but I gotta tell you, then the brother of the Manila didn't win. Exactly. But I don't wanna ruin all the things for you, but at the end of the past with the Christ, it doesn't work out for him, girl. I like to walk into movies, I like to walk into Past of the Christ and be like, the book was way better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some Q&A. Uh, these were submitted by Facebook today, whatever. Uh, who do you want to win All Stars 2? Who do I want to win? Yeah. You know, I've only seen one episode so far, but I, uh, for the promo, I was really enjoying uh, Detox yeah. and Alaska. Yeah. And they're, they're both, they both just look so fucking good in the promo. I was like, oh my, I just feel like I'm the only one who liked the way Katya looks. I was yeah. like... Yeah. On my uh, Instagram, they were like ripping her to shreds, but Katya's little... Yeah. Her little creepy Scientology style, like... Yeah. I was like, where yeah, I... It'd be exciting to see either Alaska. By the way, I know nothing. Drag Race is my favorite fucking show on TV, so before like, anyone tell me anything about it, I want to be surprised. And by the way, I gagged at the first episode. I was like, well, Also, like, Michelle was... Oh, Michelle! I was like, Michelle, Michelle was like, I like your hair. She was like, it's human. She's like, fuck humans. I was like, you it. It was all She was like, I did it myself. She was like, fuck you. She was like, I don't know what to say. I would have said fuck you right back. And then Michelle was like, why are you mad? She's like, I don't know. You just like ripped me a new one. Like, even Michelle's compliments were mean. I was like, how, how are your compliments mean? Jesus Christ. On the other hand, it is her job to say what she thinks. So everyone's like, how dare Michelle say, you know, they fucking pay her to do it. They don't pay you to fucking ride opinions about her. They pay her. I mean, you guys are they go on the tour with her after anyway, so it's like... Well, that's my question. It's not like they're best friends in real life or anything. Well, my question is, what's it like when they did a tour afterwards and Michelle's like, give it up for this sack of shit. <laughs> And then the door was like, <laughs> I look at right now, crying on TV is fucking embarrassing. I cry on TV, and you see like, oh, no. Yeah, but you also won $100,000. So. <laughs> You're allowed to cry on TV. All right, question number two. If you hadn't been the winner of season eight, who would you have liked to see win? Derek Barry! Probably. <laughs> You have to be in the top three to win. Let me say, the real winner of every season of Drag Race is RuPaul. <laughs> Ka ching <laughs> that, is, that is RuPaul. That is her first first. She was like... <laughs> She always gets it into the runway and insults Michelle Massage every single time. And you know, that's, that's her thing, right? That little crookedy arm, and then she goes, Michelle, you old dog, who let you out of the game? And Michelle's like, ha ha ha, sign my checks. <laughs> so did you say who you Oh, um, if, 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 I, if I was at home watching it, I probably would have been cheering for Chi Chi. Fuck yeah. She had the storyline. Not only that, people underestimate Actually, she does, if you follow her on Instagram, she does really good looks. Like, she can sew, she does her own, she makes a lot of her own stuff. And she can do like 19 fucking backflips in a row. She can sing, she can dance, she can act. I was like, I would have been rude for her. She's like a young Kennedy Davenport. <laughs> she's actually, by the way, she's not as young as people think she is. Oh. She's, She's older than I am. Black girl crap, it's true, but because she looks like Corbin Blue from High School Musical, she's a kid. She's like 32, I'm 30, she's like 32 years old. Question three, which episode of Drag Race is your all-time favorite episode? <laughs> Who the fuck wrote, give us that question? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> Whoever did, good, good on you, that's a great question. I definitely have one. The best, I, by the way, I am an Arabic fan of Drag Race. It's like every show on TV. I was, it was, first of all, the best season, ooh, best season is hands down season four. Yeah! Hands down, 
no MC that compares to season four. And it was the episode where Sharon Needles and Deep Young Hair yeah. were mixing against each other because you were like, oh my God. I don't want them to eliminate Fifi because she's such a good bitch. Like she's like, she was the perfect TV bitch ever. And then Sharon Needle's crazy ass. And you were, you were like, it can't be Sharon. She really was a very sweetheart at the time. You were like, I'm like, I fucking love Sharon Needle. And I remember watching and thinking to myself, oh my god, I feel like Fifi actually did better than Sharon in the lipstick. They're gonna send Sharon home. Um, oh my God, Sharon is going home. Uh, I, I hate to ruin it for you. Um, but then RuPaul was like, Willem, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, Willem, get the hell out of here. And they both got to say, I was in the bar like, oh my God. You know how like, you're, after you like, suck dick, you're really tired, you're like, uh, 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 uh. that's what I was like. Let's just you know what I mean. <laughs> Next person, uh, okay. So you're famous for <laughs> famous. Let's not throw words around here. Yeah. <laughs> for your spoken word lip sync. What inspires you when you create these numbers and which one is your favorite to perform? Now I have to have a fan girl moment because I saw Bob in New York in 2014. And he's like, I'm going to lip sync. Oh, someone asked me to lip sync Les Mis. Oh, like, how is a black man going to, to, to lip sync Les Mis? You tell the story. You tell the well, story. You know what? Do I have a track on me? Is it like a chance? There's a chance I don't have it, so don't get so excited. Oh, oh, the uh, the uh, the Les Mis track. Yeah. Is it on there? Just check, see. Well, have a quick look. So, but tell the story. But right. have someone like, girl, can you do late Miz? And I was like, I can do late Miz. That's like the whitest shit in the world. And I, I want to mix late, I want to mix like the whitest shit out there with something really fucking black. Um, and depending on whether or not it's on the thumb drive, I'll either tell you what it was or perform it. So, regardless, what, what this story remains to be told. But I picked my, um, my lip syncs by just stuff that I either find funny or find powerful. So there's like a clip of like Grace Jones saying eat my pussy over and over again. I'm like, that is so funny and powerful. Because men are always like, suck my dick, suck my dick. And women think, eat my motherfucking pussy, dick. And I'm less funny and it's powerful. Therefore, I'm going to fucking perform it. So I mix it with a bunch of, with actually Iggy Azalea songs. And then I do the whole thing. So I best just pick whatever it either feels powerful to me or feels important to me. And then I perform it. Yeah. Yes, we're looking through a USB. Do you have any other questions? Uh, next question. What do you consider your biggest drag race achievement? Winning $100,000 or making Derek Barry funny in the challenge you won together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah. Who wrote that? Where's Kirsty? Who wrote that? Was it? That was your question. Oh, of course it was. Which person? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, let me say, but I will say this, shitting on Derek is very fun. I did it for a whole season, for, for a month and a half. But I will say that Derek Barry is fucking funny. And Derek is a really good actor. I did not make Derek funny. If you were there too, Derek is a, Derek is fucking funny. Can you take us how to do ratchet drag, though? Say that, he's going to do the ratchet drag. Like, when she's trying to be shady, she's not funny. But when she's looking at an acting scene or she did my video, she's a fucking funny bitch. And, like I said, she's one of the big motherfuckers who actually showed up and did my goddamn music video, so thank you, Derek Barry. Thank you. I believe we do not have this song. Oh, well, so I tell the story. But I think it was like, I, I uh, dreamed a dream from Les Mis with I Have a Dream by Martin Luther King. I saw a lot of you have seen it on YouTube anyway. And a friend of mine made the mix for me. Was like, it's a white quiz. She's like, I'm never gonna do this. So maybe you should do it. I'm like, well, girl, I'll fucking say it. Next question. <laughs> Marriage equality is a hot topic in Australia. If you don't know, it is not yet legal for gay people to marry. No, no, no. No. Thank you for being an activist in the LGBT community. Do you have any advice for us as illegal? Homosexuals. <laughs> 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 Illegal uh, perverts of the law. Um, 
Let me tell you something. I I uh, I am not a um I I'm no uh, civil rights leader. I'm just an angry faggot who has a really loud mouth and a lot of opinions. Um, so I recommend you the same. Be angry faggots with loud mouth and lots of opinions. You know, when I lived in New York City, me and my friends, we did this thing where we um. We, we were all sitting around with me and my friend as Rhea and across the place. We were like, we're so pissed off about not having rights. You know what we should do? We should go to Times Square every Saturday from noon to 4 o'clock and dress in full drag and do drag queen weddings until we have marriage equality in New York. And that is exactly what we do. So, you know, if you ever seen the movie Network, it's a great film. There's a scene where he goes, I'm just mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. And when you decide you've had enough, then you let people know you've had enough. Squeak will gets all the oil shit. Mm -hmm. So, throw it up. So, go be mad, girl. <laughs> I have one last question, which I, this was something I saw on Facebook today. By the way, if I have a lipstick on my thing yes. that is spoken word, I'll do that. Chris, say it again. Chris, say it again. Um, what's, your, what's your last question? Um, I saw on Facebook today someone had made a statement saying most drag race winners get a full year of their reign, but you've only got six months because of all stars. How do you feel about having your reign? Now, what, what actually happened is Chad and Michael have had four years <laughs> reigning as the all stars queen, but I am still ready to When it is. comes to next year, I will be crowning the season nine. Yeah. I should have just stopped. I should have just said, I'll be crowned. <laughs> I will be crowned the season nine uh, queen. So, by the way, I have no problem with sharing the spotlight. I mean, I'm not, I'm not someone like, I need, I'm like, listen, if the attention is supposed to be on me, I, it'll be on me. I'm a loud talking bitch. I'm a very vocal person. So, I have no qualms sharing the spotlight. Do you want to have a quick look? Yeah, let's, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see something. Ooh, and, oh, there's some good ones on here. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Ooh, this is great with on here. Ooh. 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 Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Um, how do you guys like, um, I heard you. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I'm sorry that you're just yelling out what you are. He's like, cry out. Um, do you guys know Nene Leaks at all? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys know Nene Leaks at all? I have a great, I have a great, by the way, I don't really do a whole lot of spoken word anymore, so I might not know the words sometimes. That's okay, we how love you. Like, how do you guys like Madonna? Yeah! And, okay, I have, I just want to have, I have like some really, I have some really dirty shit because I'm a yeah. dirty bitch. Yeah. I have some really funny shit and I have some more, some more dirty shit. So, if you want dirty, make some noise. I could, okay, I could, I could do the crazy mix, but I have not done it in literally months. So, do you guys want to hear crazy or both? I'll say, if you want to hear crazy, hear now. Alright, this is not Vogue straight up. This is my stupid way of doing Vogue. By the way, this is the Academy of Knowledge. My, my spoken word numbers anymore. These are these are yeah, from when I first started doing drag. Put an E guy on the phone. Put more Pokemon Go with you. I just wrote corn. I just wrote corn. Alright, uh, you ready, girl? Hang on. Hang on. I think so. So, if I don't know the words, fuck oh, off. <laughs> <laughs>
came from Shay because it was a dance that two people did because they didn't like each other. Instead of fighting, you would dance it out on the dance floor, and whoever did the better moves was throwing the best shade, basically. Taking the wrong way, shit, she look bad! And no way to what you're raping her about it. Because you're beautiful and you're young. You deserve to have the best in life. Miss Day, I guy, don't say she's not beautiful, but she wasn't looking beautiful tonight. She doesn't equal me. Look at her makeup. It's terrible. Sup guys, recently I've been getting into a dancing style called voguing. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to vogue. So there's only three parts to really doing this dance. Uh, the first part is just keep it as gay as possible, alright? You want to stick out your butt, you want to pop your neck. Keep your wrists like this and just go with it, alright? That's all you gotta do. When you're in doubt, just walk like this, okay? That's how you guys start. If you're in doubt, just start going like this. Just walk. Keep it fierce, 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 hip, butt, whatever, got. Oh my. You want to kind of imagine that you have two yo-yos in your hands, in both your hands, and they're gay, they're gay <laughs> yo-yos. Okay? These yo-yos are of the same sex, and they like each other. So you just want to kind of flick them out. You want to go like that. Okay, keep those yo-yos going. Okay, all the yo-yos, okay, they just... They are the gay, they are shitting rainbows right now. These yo-yos are loose and eggs. Okay. Oh, When you want to hit that beat, you just bang. <laughs> My head hurts. So now that you're keeping it as gay as possible with your wrist, your booty, and your head, and then you're with the gay yo yo, it's got the gay yo yo going in, and then you're dropping on the floor, bam! You want to put it to music, alright? So let's put it to music. <laughs>
That is RuPaul. That is her purse first. She was like. <laughs> She always gets it into the runway and insults Michelle Massage every single